Welcome back, Clay Chick Outdoors. Something a little bit different. We're doing a cooking episode again, but this time inside on the barbecue. It's dark outside right now, so the outdoor cooking just doesn't fly. We caught some walleye today, and we're going to do a baked walleye on the barbecue, but we're also gonna do potatoes. So catch and cook, right? Caught the potatoes, and now I'm gonna cook them. Okay, well, I didn't catch them. So anyways, we're staying at the Rusty Hook. Gorgeous accommodations here, awesome kitchen, have all the, the, the knives, all of the cutting boards, pans, pots, whatever you need, everything's here. It makes things so much easier. I don't have to bring anything. I have my filet knife for the fish. Other than that, supplies to eat. Yeah, so we are gonna get started here with the potatoes first. I'll kind of take you through a step-by-step -step process of what we're going to be using, and then just kind of how I prep it, and then we'll prep the fish after. Cause you gotta get the potatoes on the barbecue first. They take a lot longer to cook than the fish does. Okay, so we have our potatoes. I like these little guys right here. They just cook up so nice. They're so good. They're little guys. You can just cut them in half, pop them in there. Onion. We have sweet peppers, a yellow one and an orange one, and then we have butter. We're gonna just put the whole thing of butter. Okay, we won't use the whole thing. And then we have a selection of spices here too that I haven't quite decided what we're going to use yet, but I will wing it as we go here. Okay. So the first, first step, a little bit of butter. Plop it right in the bottom there. We're gonna do two little slabs. We got some butter. Now, one of the secrets I like to do, instead of putting potatoes in first, we're going to layer it up with some seasonings right on the butter. That's as soon as that butter melts, that seasoning gets mixed right in there right away. A little bit of dill weed. And then as that's melting, it'll all kind of mix in there together and you can shake it all up, mix it together. We're gonna to put some seasonings on the top too, but that's where we're gonna start with a little bit of dill weed. So the little potatoes here, all you gotta do, cut them in half, fire them in. So I have the potatoes cut all up here, perfect. Now, if you're gonna have more people, obviously you want more potatoes, but there's just the two of us, so we got a small little pan here, you can make a bigger pan. Onion is next. So I like to cut my onion. Everybody does it a little bit different. I like to take off the top and the front, and then I take my knife and I put just a little slit right in here. And then you can peel this off so much easier all the way around instead of fighting with that peel. Now you'll lose the outside layer of your onion sometimes, but you're left with a nice, perfect, nice, perfect core. So then I'm not worried about cutting my onion too, too thin. Basically gonna take it in half and then I'm just gonna make nice slices. I'm gonna break it all up when I'm putting it in there, not just clump it in whole. So we got our onion and we got our peppers. I'm gonna use half of each pepper because we're gonna use the other half probably tomorrow. Obviously, you know, same thing. If you have more people, use the whole thing. Peppers I'm cutting up a little bit smaller than the onions. And I don't really know why. There's no reason, rhyme or reason for it. It's, just the way I choose to do it. Simple, so now you got all this in here. Now I'll add a little bit more seasonings to it yet. I'm gonna go with some dill weed. Sprinkle it on the top here. I'm gonna go with a little bit of roasted garlic and peppers here too. So then, the only thing you need yet now, some tin foil to kind of cover the top. Tin foil on the top. Get your edges nice and sealed all sealed up here. We're gonna put it on the barbecue for about 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere in there. I'm cooking it right here, it says at 500. I don't know what that means, but it means it's gonna be hot enough. I know that for sure. Oh yeah. Potatoes take longer than the fish. Fish is only gonna take about 10 to maybe 15 minutes, so it's good to get your potatoes done now, and then you can prep your fish as it starts cooking. It's time to prep the fish. I got all the ingredients ready so we can kind of roll through it quickly. First important one, tin foil. You'll need something to put the fish on. You have your walleye, fresh caught walleye today. We have our butter, we have a lemon, we have a little bit of onions that we left over, we left from the potatoes. We have a couple eggs, and then we have our panko. I believe that's how it's pronounced, panko. 
this video is sponsored by Panko. No, I'm kidding, it's not sponsored by Panko. But that's what we're using today. So first important thing, we need to make a little uh, area here where we can kind of put everything on. So, and then we're gonna put our, our uh, tin foil right here. Okay, so I got the tin foil here. What I'm gonna do actually is fold it in half right now to start with. And this is gonna be our little base right here. Ideally, you could have like a soft butter and you take your spoon and you kind of just smear it in here. But we don't have soft butter right now. We have hard butter. A little bit more. This is gonna prevent everything from just sticking and then give it just a little bit of flavor. So then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create an egg wash. I'm so bad at popping eggs. So let's see if we can do this. Bam! Oh, no shells. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, no shells. We're gonna go two eggs for now, just make sure we have enough. Oh, perfect. So then you're gonna beat your eggs up. And I don't mean like punch them in the face. Just kind of break them all up. Oh, what the eggs does is just helps this type of breading stick a little bit better. Lots of times if you use like a flour, you can kind of just wet your fish down and the flour will stick. But this panko stuff doesn't stick very, very well. Okay, so we're gonna try to see if we have enough with this right now. I'm gonna take my fish. I'm gonna put it in here. Get it all layered up. I'm gonna take it over to the pan coat. And then I'm gonna put it in here. I'll put some on top, rub it in. I'm gonna take it and we're gonna lay it right on top of the butter. It doesn't look super thick, but the way it cooks up ends up being super nice. So we'll do this with all of our fish here. Sometimes if you have too much fish, obviously you're gonna to have to make a couple different uh, trays of tinfoil. So we have our fish set on here. Now we'll take our onions and we'll just kind of lay them all on top. Oh, onion on the floor. Next thing, we're gonna add just a little bit of flavor here. And seasoning is really all pre personal preference, personal preference, yeah, something like that. I'm so bad with words sometimes. Um, today we're going to go with, I have a large selection of three. We are gonna go with, uh, uh, lemon pepper. Oh, I don't know. Tyson, do you think we should do lemon pepper? Oh, Tyson says yes. Tyson's the camera guy, obviously. If you haven't figured that out, he was in my last video. He caught a bigger walleye than I did. Pretty ashamed of it, but hey, it's all good in the hood. It was well earned. Okay, a little bit of lemon pepper. So then we have our lemon, which I've nicely sliced up here on the top. Now we're gonna take another Tin foil, and we're gonna cover this. So you want a tin foil that's twice as long as this because you want to double it over on the top as well. Then we're gonna make some nice edges all the way around. So now you have your finished product right here. As you can see, the potatoes are still on there. This will take about probably around 10 to 15 minutes, probably I'd say a good 15, but not much longer than that for sure, just because if you overcook fish, it just dries out. And then after you get your fish on there, you grab your potatoes and you give them a little bit of a shake. You don't want to put a spoon or a fork inside those potatoes because you're going to mush them up. Just kind of shake them up there nicely. Oh, do they smell good. I wish you guys could smell that right now. Oh, so excited. Okay, they're finished. Time for the reveal. Hopefully, uh, they're going to turn out potatoes. Ooh, they smell good. It means we got a good seal. Oh, and they're hot. Oh, beautiful. The knife should just kind of stick in there perfectly. Oh yes, those potatoes are finished. They look really good. And then the fish, I like to kind of just slice right here. And you can kind of open it just a little bit. And then you can take your knife, and come along the side and create like a little bit of an opening there and peel her off. Oh boy, there we go. Perfect, flaky, all done. There we have it. Baked walleye, some baked potatoes, not a baked potato, but baked to potatoes. We are about to dig in. So as always guys, thanks for watching. 
small, quick little episode, a little bit of cooking inside instead of outside. But hey, whatever we gotta do, we'll have another video coming out with fishing quickly, but we're gonna make these cooking videos with the fish that we catch more frequently. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, get outside.